everybody. It's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. Again, for like the, what, fourth day in a row? I don't know. <laughs> um, if you're watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay so I know you were here. And, oh, I guess I better get going down here. What I'm just yapping away and I have to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna wait for my friends to get here. And see if I really went live. Because, yeah, I'm there. What? Hey, everybody. Yep. Oh, hey, Opa, you made it. Okay, hey, Rhonda. I'm so glad y'all are here. I had some, I wanted to, um, these are some things that I thought about just doing like a pre-recorded video of for y'all. And then I thought, no, I want to hang out with my friends. So why not? Hey, Rhonda and Martina. And Kathy. I'm having a great day, Kathy. Thank you. Hey, Dawn and Tanya and Cindy and Charlotte and Darlene and Libby and Mitzi. Oh, y'all are all back. Hey, Brenda. Patricia, you came. Thank you so much. Um, there's Gail and you're watching from West Texas, Tanya. Oh, wonderful. Is it as hot there as it is here? Hey, Bunky. Phyllis and Randy. Oh, you have this shirt too? It's it's my color and I'm I love this year I'm all about the teal with the yellow. It the teal is my accent color in my house and has been for a while. So this year I'm adding the whole lemon thing to my decor because I love those colors. Hey Cindy and Trace Tracy's here. Hey Tracy. I had so much fun in your event yesterday. I just had a great, great time. Hey, Elle, that was, a, uh, that was a wonderful experience for me, I've got to tell you. Hello, Dawn and Cindy from Florida. Hey, Linda, there's my Betty Sargent. How are you? Thank you, Lori. I love it. This is my first time wearing it. I just got it, um, I think it came Friday. And it's a very soft shirt. It's from Sunfire. It was online, and it got here quick. Very hot and humid. Hey, Teresa and Becky. Uh, Southern California, 110. Um, it's in the 90s here, but our heat index, what it feels like with the humidity is about, I think they said 105, stifling. Yesterday was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Oh, I had a great time. Hey, Mayor, there's Sarah and Peggy Jo. I'm taking a little extra time to say hello to my friends today because I'm, I'm not on time constraints today. This isn't in an event, so... There's Allison and Lori and and Ella Zoe watching. What, Sarah? Say that again. I don't know. Hey, Tracy. I'm glad you caught me live. Oh, Cindy, it's too hot. Hey, Marilyn. I want to show y'all something at the beginning, though. One of our sweet tater bugs. Um, I have the sweetest sweet tater bugs, I got to tell you. It's been, you know, it's almost like Christmas every day here. And y'all just send me the, the, the most amazing things. And I have to share this one with you. This big box came from our very own Becky Neal the other day. I couldn't show it until today because I was on time constraints. But let me just tell you about this. As if this isn't, you know, I mean, you look at it, just go, wow. Look at all the, thank you for the stars, Judy. You are always so sweet to do that. But I mean, I'm looking at every detail, you know, and what the what else she put into it. And she sent me the sweetest letter with it. And um, she told me that she added a bluebird on top because she knows how I love bluebirds. She remembered my little bluebird story. She said she did the crackle paint technique on it because I had mentioned that I was dying to try that technique. And then get this. I think this is the point when Mr. Taterbuggin showed me this. This is the point the tears started to flow. She added fairy lights because she knew I loved fairy lights on the crafts. Is that not amazing? Uh, I was just blown away. And what she. I don't know that she knows how much I love blue. I know she was matching my bluebirds, but I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. And it's been on my top shelf. It's tall, so it only fits on my top shelf, but it's been over there 
since I got it, and I've been dying to show y'all that. I also got, oh, it's, it's over there. It's a whole box full of sola flowers that we're going to play with. Um, why is the name just uh, um, left my brain? Oh, for heaven's sake, who sent me that? Julie Arnold Shaver. I knew it. And so, Artist Taylor had sent me a box of Solo Flowers. So, we're just going to have so much fun with all this, all the goodies. So, now, let's on to what we're doing today. Y'all remember these? Were you here with me live when we made these the other day? I swear, I'm just, I love these so much. So, we're doing some things that are going to go with this because they need more friends. Just get up and get it because Betty counts how many times I get up. I know what you're doing, Betty. <laughs> I will, though. <laughs> oh, hey, Marjorie. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, I mean, the thoughtfulness, you know, it's crazy. Y'all just blow me away. Okay, so y'all know these. Well, this was made. The little bee was made out of Jenga blocks and a bead. And then this one is the paint sticks and a two by four that Mr. Taterbug had just cut down for me. So, what we're doing, he cut, this is a two by four in this shape. And I'm just gonna jump on in here and get started so we can do two or three things at least today. Hello, Billy from Tupelo, Mississippi. I know, I, you know, Libby, I thought about doing a dragonfly like this, and I still might, like for my booth or something. Aurelia, hey. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And Trish is here. Y'all, Trish and I are heading, we're hitting the road Thursday for a girls' trip for the weekend, and so Thursday's live could happen at any time. It's going to be me and her, so y'all better watch out. We've been best friends since we were 13. We revert back to 13 every time we get together. <laughs> but yeah, you could so easily do this as a dragonfly and just do the this these two wings up and two wings down. It's a dragonfly. Um, so, okay, let me get my little Mod Podge brush. I don't, this one's kind of crunchy. I did a little prep work just so we can do several things. I know, Gail, I haven't been anywhere in I don't know how long, and I'm, oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I can't wait. We're probably just going to do so much nothing, and that's the best thing. <laughs> Got a little, um, I, Trish, is it an Airbnb? It's right on the lake. So, you know, inside or outside, we can look right out and see the lake. Y'all know my pretty um, scrapbook paper that I used for all of these. I just dug out another piece. This is all going to coordinate, whether it needs to or not, because it's all coming from that great scrapbook paper book from Walmart that I found. Okay, and we already cut a piece of a little stir stick. And I just used a coordinating scrapbook paper. Hey, Gina. Hey, Mavis. Are you really, Judy? You're gonna enjoy that so much. Hey, Patricia. So, oh yeah, well, it's that time of year. And you know, we 2020 was 2020. And so it's 2021 now and everybody's got to get there, get out. Get out. And just live a little, right? Okay. Simple, simple, right? Just covering it with um, pretty scrapbook paper. Hey, Heidi. Thank you, Judy. Hey, Beth. I got this at, online at Sunfire Tees. Um, I think that's what it's called. It came across my, it's always on my Facebook feed, and I don't know, I'm in a t-shirt mode. I, I just seem to love all the ones I find. All right, you know what I'm going to do next. Hey, Luann. Oh, yes. 
we haven't had a girls trip and can we laugh when we're together my word um, there are very very few people that make me laugh as much as Trisha does hey Barbara uh, Mitzi, I could throw a rock to Memphis. We are just over the line in a suburb northeast called Bartlett. We're actually in the city of Bartlett, but, you know, we're Memphis, too. Hey, Susan. Yeah, I just, I'm loving the t-shirts. When Mom and I went shopping, you know, I took Mama shopping, uh, Wednesday, I guess it was. I'm just using my Waverly Antique Wax. I felt like I didn't even have to say it because y'all see me do it. Every <laughs> Betty, they would. They really would. Oh, Laurie, it's too hot out there. I, I'm waiting until the sun gets a little lower to go out and water all my plants because uh, they're needing it. But um, So I'm just hitting the edges. So it just, let me show y'all. This is what I did. I've the, this little thing, I already made one, and it's in the booth now, and I, oh, I wanted to keep it so bad, but I thought, I just have to make one of these with y'all, because it makes me so happy. Hello, where is Norris Lake, Debbie? What you doing there? Soft greens, pinks, and beige. Oh, that sounds so pretty. Said hotness, doing my that hot mess doing my best is that what it said I need one of those <laughs> uh, oh did you really Mitzi that is so cool where are you now Carrie Mississippi's hot too downtown Memphis I used to work in a bank in downtown Memphis at NBC many years ago Beth which one did you work at? One Commerce Square. Sure did. That was back when... Uh... Oh, there's our sweet Becky Neal. I love it, Becky. You are. That was so thoughtful of you. I just don't know what I ever did to deserve all you sweet ladies. I really don't. But I appreciate y'all. You're in Bowling Green, Kentucky now. Oh. Arlington's beautiful, Lacey. I love Arlington. My, the girl who does my hair is uh, in Arlington. So I go, I end up going to her house about <laughs> every three weeks as fast as my head's growing. Oh, it's head's growing. It's my hair. My head's not growing. <laughs> oh, me. Oh. Um, damn. It's. Pennsylvania damp and rainy and cold. Oh, so opposite of what we've got here. Okay. Don't know what this is going to be. Can you tell? I might should have made that a little bit, uh, you know, more um, a contrast color, another paper. But it's, it's cute. I like it just fine. Leader Federal Savings and Loan. I hadn't thought about that bank in a long time. Uh, yes, Carrie, it's a little pot. So I'm just going to glue it right down here. So this is going to be like the little ledge to the clay pot. You know, that little part at the top. So we've got that. I found these at the Dollar Tree the other day when I told you that they're, they had really upped their floral game. They had these in this color and white. I thought I got some white ones too, and I may have, but I just pulled these out real quick because they're pretty. So we're going to cut these off, the big stem, and we're just going to get them arranged in our little clay pot. Oh, we're already up to a hundred. Well, I see 119, so I guess I couldn't hold on to that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A coffin? That's so funny. <laughs> Janice, that would be dark, wouldn't it? <laughs> These little, well, I hadn't thought about it, Rita, but sure, we can, we can, I'm, 
I'm speaking for Mr. Tater Buggin right now, but I'm sure he, he never says no to y'all. You know that. So, yeah, I'm sure he will. Hey, Rebecca, I'm glad you're here. And I hope you can stick around because there's some, there's one other, there, two other things I want to do. And I think I've prepped them enough that um, we'll get to do them all. I wish he'd have made a little bit bigger hole here for me. Because I did my first one a little bit different. Okay, let me, let me, let me do this. Is he watching? He does, Betty. He loves y'all to pieces, I'm telling you. Thank you, Martha. You're so sweet. He is the sweetest, Carrie. He's, he's too good to me, I'm telling you. Is he watching? Do y'all know if he's on? I'll get him to make this a little bit bigger for us. Gary, y'all believe me. Look at me. I've been eating. Trust me. <laughs> I've been eating. Da, 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 coming to save da, 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 the day. <laughs> With the drill. Thank you, sir. And they would like to know if you will offer these little pot pieces in the shop. Well, of course. <laughs> they said you love them, too, and you're the sweetest. So, see there? They know. He can't say no to y'all. He loves his sweet <laughs> Look at all the, the what, what, what? laughing faces. There they are. Hey, <laughs> Margie. <laughs> I'm in need of a Mr. Tater Buggin. I know it. Everybody should have a Mr. Tater Buggin. A shop in Cape May. Oh, Mayor, send me pictures next time you go. I bet I'd love it. Everybody's saying hey to you. Hey, ladies. Betty, Deb, I see all of you. That worked better. Yes, thank you. Now, I don't even have to glue those in. You did that so good, y'all. Look. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I mean, that's just a happy right there. But what we're going to do now, where to put it? Right over here. Let me grab <laughs> some, do y'all say raffia or raffia? Hmm. I want to just kind of fray this a little bit. Uh, Peggy Jo says, Mr. T, you're one of a kind. Huh. I don't know about that. Allison's still enjoying the single life right now, so, yeah. you know. I get it, girl. Although I haven't been single since I was 20 years old. All those hearts I know, Carrie. I love seeing those hearts. Y'all are so sweet. We're up to 137. Yeah, this guy cooks. You know, he's got his own cooking show now here on Facebook on the Tater Buggin page. But now he won't be on this this Friday night, but uh, the next Friday night, he's going to have to come up with something extra special for y'all. Gosh, this is... I've got two brothers, yeah. He's, he's lost two brothers and... Uh, lost two and, and I have two left. Mm-hmm. But I think they're all spoken for, yeah. Well, one of them semi is, but like we Julie and I said, he's got a bad pickup. Margie, yep, we're, we're close. We're 35 years. Yeah, uh, and he was no Mr. T. Oh, everybody deserves a Mr. T. They do. You know, Opa, I saw your comment there. I was just thinking, we need a dessert. Uh, you know, I thought about, I, desserts were my specialty. I loved doing desserts, and I used to make a really mean coconut cream pie. Or we could do a banana pudding, or <gasps> what do we want? How about chocolate soup? Chocolate, ooh, y'all. Mm, it's called so many different things, I, but we could tell that story. Chocolate soup. I toss the taters. Thank you so much, Rose. For a brother's cook-off night. <gasps> you and Jody, brother tater bugging, having a cook-off. Jody can cook hot dogs. 
Oh, well, you probably overcook them. <laughs> so he's not watching. He's going to get you. Here's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just adding a little bow right here. Oh, I'm so glad, Kay. Yeah, we, we need to have dessert first one night, don't we, Mayor? I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue right here on the top edge of our pot. And stick that down. Nothing fancy. I mean, you could even add a little button in the middle. Put a little embellishment on it. Whatever you want to do. But how easy is that? This You could do this a dozen different ways. Right? I just think it's so cute. It just makes the cutest little pot. What do y'all think of that? Oh, thank you. Coconut cream pie is one of my favorites. Um, I bet you would know it, Marjorie. It's a... Uh, uh, I've heard it called so many things. It's the layer of flour and crushed pecans and butter that makes the crust. Then you've got a layer of cream cheese and sugar. And then that chocolate pudding layer and Cool Whip on top. But back when we used to uh, go visit my aunt who lived in Mobile every summer you know she was a great cook and she always had a big fancy meal for us that first night usually her famous crab cakes or stuffed crab and um, what the first time she made it she accidentally bought the cook and serve instead of the instant pudding so when she served it, she had to put it in bowls because it, just, it was great. It was still good, but she called it chocolate soup because she messed it up. Hey, Maureen, four layer delight, yeah. These might be perfect for that shed. Uh, the dimensions, I will get those for you. That's a good question. This, the top part is just a piece of a regular stir stick. This is part of a two by four. It stands three and three quarters inches tall, and at the top, it's three and a quarter inches wide. It just tapers down. Yeah, I always say that when I eat some dessert, I, you know, I'm, I'm sinning, because Lord knows I don't need that. So, yeah, there's our cute, cute little pot. Y'all know what this is gonna be? He cut this one out too. That's okay, Lori. That's all right. You have to go back and watch our little pot we made. Oh, I know, Frida. You'll forever be thinking about your mom every time you do that. Okay, I'm going to have to get up. I sure am. I just realized something. We're going to... I did go on and prime these with some white paint. I forgot to mention that. Uh... Let me grab a paintbrush right here. Just anything. You're listening. Hubby is talking. Your husband, Kim. So y'all, I hope you y'all had a nice reunion yesterday when he got home from the road. Looks like a snail, doesn't it? You're right, Arlene. It is a bug. What kind of bug? I'm doing the head first so y'all have more time to guess carol got it it's a ladybug <laughs> oh i've been dying to do this one y'all this one is the it, he cut it out for me the other day when he cut out the pot but i didn't get to to make this up and once i made the pot the first pot and i'll i'll post a picture of it too afterwards um I love the pot so much I thought I've got to do this with my friends and uh, so I'll wait until I'm with y'all to do the ladybug. So I've been dying to do this. And I've, I've already, I'm kind of proud of myself y'all. I already know what we're doing on Tuesday for the live. Most of the time I don't, I don't know that far in advance. Half the butterfly body. That's a good guess. Did Pete come through here? Oh, Jill, then this is perfect for you. And how easy. All right. 
Let me get up from my chair. I'm going to not bend over that way like I did last time because, you know, that wasn't pretty. I looked up, came back to my seat, and all I could see was my big old butt bent <laughs> over back there. Okay, I just pulled out. This is fire red. I'm going to do this one. I am, I am, I'm getting so excited for my trip, and y'all are going with me, so don't think, you know, you're going to be off the hook from tater bugging, I'm going to be sharing in my um, stories, I'll show y'all where we're staying, and we're going to go live on our road trip with y'all, it is Rebecca, yours is coming up next. So I'm going to whiz through this. Oh, sorry. He's watching other videos besides mine. I'm trying to find her. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Trish, I can't wait. Yes, I cannot wait. And, you know, if that's not y'all's thing, you don't have to tune in for that. It's going to be a lot of silliness, I'm sure. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> uh, oh, sure. Yeah. Um, you'll just have to watch the the replay to see our cute little clay pot because we're going to. I'm trying to squeeze in three different things today because I just kept having more ideas along this line. I'm going to have to just pour some of this out. There we go. This, this one's kind of thin for some reason. It's ceram coat, which I love, but who this is... Who is Trisha Kaiser? Who is that? Did you see all three of them, Lori? They're just all running around, running through here. There's my husband. Um, yeah, Trisha and I... We, well, her birthday is February 13th. And I want you to know, we have not been able to get together since probably, it must have been just before or just after Christmas. So, we'll Skype, you know, we text every day, and we try to Skype once a week if possible. Um, but this will be the first time I've actually seen her in person, I guess this year. That's hard to believe. Is that right, Trish? And so... Um, we're due a road trip of fun, right? And we will have some fun. Okay, there we go. Little Bo so short. He may have just... Where is Bo? No, he's in his bed under the table. Um, let's see. I need that heat gun, and I don't want to knock my pretty cart over. Will you help me? What do you need? I uh, need the heat gun. Thank you. Um, 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 he was watching me live. International symbol. Yeah, I <laughs> couldn't think of any words. Yeah, I know. That's the longest we've probably ever gone. We are going to head over to Hot Springs, Arkansas, a little rental on uh, Lake Hamilton. Trish, is it a, like, is it an Airbnb or what? I, I, I don't know, but it's I've looked at the pictures. It's right on the lake. It's a little guest house all by itself. And right outside the back door is the deck over the lake. We may not leave that spot. Thank you, Libby. Oh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun, fun. Yay, road trip, I know. I'm so excited. It is, it's just cozy. Yeah, there's uh, trees all around. So we go ahead and can a load. It's back for the first time other than your 30 minute thing yesterday. Oh, I'm so glad you're back, Jana. Hey, Shannon. Uh, it's going to be slow. Um, we'll have to go the old bridge and. Tell them the back story. The back story. <laughs> 
just as backstroke. <laughs> we'll just backstroke over to Arkansas. Yeah, that does present a problem. When that, when the bridge cracked, we were like, well, that's just super duper, isn't it? Um, as we're, as we're going to need to cross the bridge. So we'll just have to go the old bridge and did you, Stephanie? Uh, we, I Stephanie love... must be from Arkadelphia. Oh, are you from, did you hear him, Arkadelphia? We used to go over to Hot Springs at least once a summer. Um, and we'd rent a boat and ski and take the kids. And um, I just had a great time. I blame Hot Springs for my one case of salmonella, which was awful. <laughs> Don't eat. Don't eat the shrimp. It used to be my favorite food. <laughs> Not anymore. Stephanie says yes. I ah, see, he knew. How about that? But I've I've always loved uh, all the lakes over there. We've stayed on Lake Wachita. We usually stay on Lake Hamilton somewhere. Have we been to any of the other? Do we do Catherine? Oh, we've been to Catherine and Hamilton and. Watch it talk. Well, I named those two. I just can't remember. I'm just putting her little ladybug dots on. Kim's had food for women, Oh, too. Kim. No, it was so horrible. And, of course, it hit me the morning that we were to come home. And, oh, it was just misery. Misery. And then, but... To add insult to injury, when it wouldn't get any better, I went to the doctor and they figured it out, of course, um, that it was salmonella, and they put me on a medication that I then had a severe reaction to. I was sick for six weeks between the salmonella and um, the allergic reaction to medicine. It was awful. And it was this time of year because it showed up in my Facebook memories recently. Not a happy memory. Oh, really? She's a, yeah, Jana, it is gorgeous. Pretty cute, huh? But wait, watch this, y'all. I did this ahead of time, too. Betty says you're going to be a little over three hours from her. Betty Sargent. Oh, really? Ah! Y'all, okay. I don't want to smoosh her. Do you see my little... Can you see the cute little antenna I made out of our wire? Oh, my goodness. I just love it. Let's go sideways so you can see it. <laughs> Yes, that's out of a two before. He says, yes, it's out of a two before. Yeah, he's catching some of your comments. Yeah. Um, you know, recently when Lee from the Turquoise Valentine lost her, her very best friend, I mean, I felt so bad for her, but I, I, it hit me hard because I just couldn't even, I don't ever want to, I can't imagine. I don't want to do life without... Trish, I, I, you know, I mean, seriously, we've been very best friends since we were 13. Isn't that cute? Of course, I'll do the back side, too. Where am I? Yeah, just so you can tell it on all sides. I was just saving a little time. But isn't that adorable? And I'm imagining it in uh, different sizes, you know? I am too, Heidi. Um, I, I knew that one already, but they gave me a... Uh, cyclosporin for it. Can't do that ever again. Okay, now Rebecca, are you still here? Our sweet Rebecca Clifton is one of our sweet tater bugs. And she's the one who gave me this idea. Did y'all see her post where she took three wood beads and then a smaller wood bead? Did you do a smaller wood bead? No, two little wood beads for the eyes and made those cute little ants that she put on her watermelon wall hanging. So I was looking at that. I'm such a lake girl. I used to spend summers on the lake and I love to ski. Of course, we're not doing any of that this time, but 
anyway. Um, so, I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw this pack of ping pong balls. They call them, you know, table tennis balls. There's six of them in here. So what I did was I painted three of them black. Y'all know what we're gonna do. I just told you, right? Uh, Faye wants to know if the wood cutouts will be for sale. Sir. He says, certainly. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the stars, Debbie. You're so sweet for the whole week on the road. Oh, well, that's good. You keep him healthy, Kim. Yes, the ant. Oh, we need a tater bug. What would that look like? We need to just, somebody help me design a tater bug. <laughs> okay, how should I start it out? Should I start it with the back one? That's those, right? Yes. And, okay, he... And they go... Engineered this way. He engineered all the legs for y'all. Yeah, that, no, it'll, go, it'll go on the front of the ball. I don't know. Yeah, I like that'll work, yeah. That'll work. It's gonna say, how do you know the yeah. front and the back of a ball? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You're pretty. You're extra pretty today. <laughs> He's gonna get me. I hope that doesn't melt this ball here. Okay. And you just hold it, you held it. Ah! <laughs> oh, somebody got a screech. What did you do? <laughs> that scared me to death. Sometimes I can't take her anywhere. Now, yeah, I should have thought of that. 
put that on TikTok. I don't even, I'm not cool enough to have TikTok, Nelda, but I swear I would. If any one of y'all can turn that into some kind of little video, <laughs> if you're that smart, I'm gonna send you something really great. <laughs> Which, by the way, while he's doing that, I, I want to get, I haven't given anybody, um, gifted anybody art classes. Um, because I get all excited and I forget. So, I want to scroll. Here you go. <laughs> I want to scroll while he's doing this. It was, <laughs> it scared me to death, Lisa. Oh, um, yeah, that's definitely going on the blooper reel. Mm, 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 mm. Why does that ha stuff happen, have to happen to me live like that? At least it wasn't in one of the events. How embarrassing. Boom! I'm getting immune to you, man. Um, okay, so what I thought I would do, if y'all haven't seen me do this before, I want to gift, um, let's do two at least today. I want to gift you with one of my art classes. Uh, it'll be your choice. And, uh, you know, in case you haven't had a chance to try one, or there's one you've been wanting to do or something, you'll get to choose whichever one. But in a few minutes, I'm going to scroll. So, if you want to start commenting that uh, you would like to win a class, you don't have to say win. You say, I'd like to try a class. I don't know the words that we're not supposed to use. But, um, anyway, uh, just start t doing that. And in just a second, I'm going to scroll. And I'm going to choose two names randomly. I'm not going to look. <laughs> they all heard it pop. It was a big pop. I don't even like uh, static electricity. I don't like to get shocked. You know, this chair is notorious for it. Um, I just hate it. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Me too. Because that would have been the end of the live. Because now I've got... Um, I need, I need sticks. I've got a little, I'm um, a little tra traumatized. You're putting it right, right on there. Oh, I guess I need a low temp glue gun for that project. So when I showed y'all Dollar Tree ping pong balls, don't use those. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Unless you use E6000. Oh, thank you so much who said that. Thank you, Christy. You're so sweet. I was, um, uh, earlier today, I'm working on coming up with some summer classes for the kids. They won't be live. They'll be pre-recorded and, you know, you can, um, do them at any time. Like if you've got your grandkids for a week or two in the summer and want something fun to do. So I'm going to do a few kid classes for y'all. Bev, I was attempting to make, let me, let me recap since he's over there. I made this cute little, um, clay, uh, it's not a clay pot, it's out of wood, but it looks like a little flower pot out of a two by four that he cut and a paint stir stick and some scrapbook paper. Another two by four ladybug with these cute little antenna. <laughs> I'm glad I did, <laughs> nailed them because... Oh, it's scared. I, I'm going to have a couple of extra um, gray hairs after that. Oh, I got to go back and see how big I jumped. Who said that? Let's see. Oh, really, Jill? Okay, I think I already know what the first one's going to be. I want to try to keep it where both girls and boys, you know, would like it. <clears throat> and then, I don't remember the name, although I wrote it down. And I've got it. Somebody mentioned, wait, I do. Uh, Janie Cunningham mentioned that um, she'd love one that's faith-based for the kids that are in her vacation Bible school, which I thought was a really cool idea. <clears throat> Kay, I just break it down to where it is so simple, you'll be a, everybody can do it. Thank you, Char. That, yeah, Betty, I, I just, I was thinking I wanted it to kind of be, um, scale with 
a little bit with what the other bugs that we've made. I even thought, my thought was spraying this with sealer when it's all done and actually attaching it around my wood flowers on my fence. And let me show you this while we're here. We weren't gonna try to do this for a live, but it got really complicated. This was in the works for a couple of, well, at least a month ago. And Mr. Tater Buggin figured it out. Look at this. This is a Dollar Tree um, colander. Couldn't think of it. He just cut the black handle of it off. This is a Dollar Tree bowl. They come in a pack of like six, I think. So he just cut that out and glued that together. And those are the little <clears throat> Dollar Tree twirly birds, you know. And he put the little antenna on it today. So we'll probably hit that with sealer and put that on the fence with our, our I was trying to figure out a B too. I'm still working on the B because I want them on that back fence where I've got my wood flowers that he made last year. So, <clears throat> A little tater bug village, right, Janice? <laughs> yeah, we're growing one real quick. Yeah, I'm not a big bug person, but boy, I have loved playing with these bugs. Oh, fairy lights. Oh, on my back fence. You're right. How cute. I even started, um, you know, Dollar Tree has this pack of the, those little bowls and, um, he uses those bowls. Y'all probably seen him in his cooking lives. He'll put his spices in these little bowls. But I think there were four for a dollar. So I just grabbed one out of the cabinet and started painting it with my um, enamel paint. And so I'm gonna finish this out, I think, like a ladybug, just painting it and see how it looks. Because with this enamel paint, <clears throat> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put, I, I'm gonna finish this out and we're gonna put eyes on the ant too, absolutely. <laughs> Barbara said, Mr. T is as handy as a pocket on a shirt. <laughs> that made him smile. <clears throat> yeah, I think dragonflies would be so cute. In fact, uh, these actually, this kind is glass. The kind on this one are plastic in the party section. Um, but I think you get more of the plastic ones. You may even get a dozen. I'm not sure. I forgot where that is because we bought that a while ago. You get four for a dollar of these. But it, these are glass. So with the enamel paint, I can bake these in the oven. Cure them for like I do my when I paint wine glasses or any kind of glass. I can cure it in the oven on a low temp for about... I can't remember. I have to read it again. It's been a while since I did it, but that would that seals it, you know, and makes it stay. Um, I know Tanya, and you are excellent at it too. You do it all. Y'all are also great at it. I saw uh, Miss Judy from the Crafty House do her live. <clears throat> it may have been in the patriotic event. I can't remember for sure. But she has the cutest little bitty drill. I'm getting one of those drills. <laughs> I love that drill. I want a drill. If it comes in pink, even better. <laughs> I know, Tammy. I really am. Four uh -huh. Three for a dollar. Oh, a lightning bug. Oh my goodness, how cute would that be? I wonder if I could make that out of a, um, a used light bulb, you know, somehow, and put a head on it and paint the light bulb yellow. I don't know, I gotta, I gotta think on that. Chicken to try on your own. Do you, Judy? I love it. We're, I, I, y'all, if you just got on, you think, uh, I'm just sitting here wasting your time, but all the action's going on over there, and it's something else. Where's the head? Right here. And I got eyeballs. I, I did do the painting. I did do that. That's all of the ant I managed. 
fluorescent paint. Yeah. Oh, why couldn't I get glow in the dark paint if it's going to go on the fence? Because then his, you know, his little bottom would light up. It hadn't popped on him one time. You don't need to be afraid of these classes. Any of my ladies that are on here now that have taken classes, tell them. I just break it all down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just sitting here talking and not crafting. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Who's crafting today? Yeah, Mr. Tater Buggins crafting. Spiders. Oh, that's a cute idea. Oh, she did? I didn't see that one. Lee did the, the bugs with the light bulb. Wait. She did a little bee, didn't she? I did see that. So cute. A solar light. That's great. Walmart has those little drills, Betty? Great. I need to, I'm going to look it up. Okay, you got it. Heidi's got it in a jar and in a spray paint. Thank you, Opa. Yes, if somebody asked about it, I, I get a lot of questions about my paint storage. They're paint spinners at Michael's. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Well, it's going to take a little touching up. He's going to have to be touched up because he's got a lot of glue. But look at that cute ant. I mean, come on now. And, uh, yeah, I've got to touch the black paint up, too. But, okay, is it safe? If I put the glue here and stick it on, oh, I'm still scared. i got a glue web on me. I'll do this part. Never fear. Now you're crafting. Now I'm crafting here. <laughs> <clears throat> What you do? You walked all around me with glue. <laughs> he wrapped me them. up in glue webs. Oh my! Okay. Uh, well, I just meant you can tell. I didn't mean asking y'all to tell them how great I am. I just mean yeah. you can do it. Oh, is he gonna do a cameo too? He doesn't like that dog one bit, does he, y'all? <clears throat> no, he doesn't like that dog. Oh, goodness. I got 35 comments. I, I wasn't seeing him scroll. Look at him smiling back there. Silly dog. Old metal grater being used with solar lights in them. Out on a patio. So cute. Oh, I bet that's adorable. Look at that little ant. So, again, y'all, Rebecca Clifton... Uh, posted in our Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs group. If y'all haven't joined that, you need to. It's so much fun. You just got to answer two questions so that my sweet moderators can let you in. Um, but this is her. She did this. I just saw her pictures and hers were little and I just wanted it a little bigger. And when I saw those ping pong balls at Dollar Tree, which probably wasn't the greatest idea, um, that's what I thought of. And you could get two ants out of that if you are uh, brave enough to do it. But really, like y'all said, some um, E6000 or Gorilla Glue would do the same and it won't pop and scare you. <laughs> but was that worth the wait? I mean, I think he's pretty darn cute. So let's recap. How long have I been on? I haven't been, even been on an hour. Touch up the black. Okay, I will. Uh, if you didn't see it, we did a little ladybug out of a two by four. There's his, her cute little, uh, I almost said antlers. That pop got me off track, y'all. And we've got our little flower pot that we made out of, of a two, 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 two by four. And we are gonna get those in the shop. It probably won't be tonight, uh, but maybe tomorrow. So, next thing I want to do is I want to scroll. It's time to give away. You know what? I haven't given away one in the past two or three lives. So, it's going to be, I'm gifting away three paint classes. Okay? Three. I'm feeling crazy today. 
<laughs> for y'all sticking leave. with me today. Plus, y'all got me to like over 300 the other day. Goodbye, girl. She's out of control. I can't take it anymore. Bless him. Thanks for all you did. I appreciate it. You saved me. Okay, now let me, I'm going to look up here while I scroll. Well, let me, it's not scrolling any higher. Wait, okay, let me fix it. Yeah, that was Sarge. <clears throat> okay, I'm scrolling. Let me get up to where. Um, I'm, 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 I'm trying to find where somebody that's talking about golf balls, but yeah, I didn't know if they might be too heavy. Um, I'm trying to find somebody that wants a class. Thanks, Dawn. Thank you. Again, if anybody can um, make a funny little video out of, <clears throat> first one I see is Tanya Mansfield. She said she wants a um, lettering class. So, Tanya, you just need to no, you don't, because you just said lettering. So I'm going to send you the link. When we get off of here, I will message you the link to the lettering class. Heidi Langford. Heidi Langford. I need you to message me and let me know which class you'd like to do. <clears throat> and Kim Whitmore. Three, first three I saw. Kim Whitmore. Okay, Kim and Heidi, just um, send me a message and let me know which class you want to try. I'll send you a link. And I'm trying to remember to do that every live, y'all. And if I forget, please remind me. Um, I definitely want to um, give away, uh, um, give, gift you with um, classes on Tuesday, too. And so now let me get back to where I'm supposed to be. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. That was crazy. If uh, you can make a funny blooper reel out of that scare, I'm gonna send you something. I don't know editing. I wish I did. I swear I would go do it myself. <clears throat> and I'm working on, I'm trying to teach myself editing. So anyway, Hopefully, one of y'all knows editing, and you can do something like that. Message it to me, post it on Sweet Tater Bugs or whatever, so that I can share it. Because, y'all, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not ashamed. I'll do it. I'll post it for a laugh. I just thought, I bet that looked so funny. Hey, Brenda, you got to go back and watch the replay and see these cute bugs we made. Uh, Deborah, it's, uh, let me explain that. <clears throat> I do a different theme every month, but they're always available. And it's not a subscription. You pick and choose whichever class you want to take. I have kind of gotten away from tacking on the um, month name just because I don't want to confuse people. I've been doing them monthly since last November. <clears throat> and so... Um, you can join at any time. I've had, I think, at least five people join my lettering class in the last two days. They're always available. It's always there um, for, for instance, the June class. At the beginning of the month, well, usually at the end of the prior month, I will announce what the next month painting is going to be. And usually I have an example to show you. And then we get our group set up. It's a private group where we post everything. It becomes another little community, you know, where I post the videos. And for anybody who's paid their $10 entrance fee, um, you get the link to uh, the class. And so you'll, you'll look in the media section for the videos and you'll see my instructional video. I usually let you know at the beginning of the month, your supply list, and what day I'll go live to paint. But I always tell everybody, you're welcome to watch live um, and ask questions live if you want to, but I always recommend that you watch it through first and then go back 
and paint with me when you can hit pause and take your time and relax. You'll get a better result that way. Um, and I always offer a bonus video that's along the same theme for that month uh, before the end of the month. So we haven't done that yet for June. We've, we've already had our class last weekend. I'm gonna go away for this weekend and then we're gonna have a class probably the last week in June, our little bonus class. It's a craft or another painting or something that goes along with the monthly theme. So I hope that kind of explains that. Uh, Tracy, yes, they are $10 a class. Um, and like I said, you pick and choose the ones you wanna do. If you go to our Shopify link, it's taterbuggin.myshopify.com and click art classes, you'll see all the ones that I have. Um, and I've enjoyed it so much, I'm gonna continue to do these each month. Um, it's just a different, a different painting or theme every single month. And so you're not out a lot of money uh, for them. I like to keep the price low and give you your money's worth. I'm always there to answer questions. If you've got questions from the November class, ask them. I'm always here. I, I'm, I will absolutely help you. So it's ongoing. You can paint them as many times as you want to. Yeah, Opa mentioned, um, and she posted the link. Thank you so much to our shop. We've got woodblock prints. We've got unfinished wood kits. Uh, t-shirts, classes, anyway, cruise around there and see if there's anything you like. Oh, Tanya, thank you so much. We started that uh, during quarantine last year, um, during the lockdown. Um, so if you want to scroll back through the Tater Buggin videos, they're all still there. I think they probably started around March. And we, it was just the three of us stuck here in the house. So even my son helped me with some of them. And uh, we just had a good time. They're probably pretty pitiful because it was a year ago. And I hope I've gotten a little better at setting up cameras and stuff like that now. But uh, yeah, Char, it's just $10 per class. Um, so for instance, this month we did the little tater, bird, tater birds on a wire. So for this month, you'll have that for $10, you know, I've got your supply list, um, all your instructional videos. We always post in the group that the ladies post when they finish uh, their painting. One of the ladies that's in that class has her grandson staying with her this week and he got to do it. And we got to see how his turned out. It was so cute and she said he had a ball. So I'm also going to do some pre-recorded um, summer kids classes that uh, there will be probably three or four and you can just pick which your kids can pick which ones they want to do, you know. So yes, uh, Tony, um, through Shopify, I think you can pay through, y'all Y'all know better from that end going in. Uh, the different ways that you can pay but it's all done through Shopify and it's safe and when you join a class um, I will get a notification through email and so I will email the link to your email that's attached to your payment method so that's been an issue sometimes. I'm not allowed to generate an e a, a message, a private message to you from my business page, obviously. You know, so I have to have had a message from you first. So if you want to shoot me a message and say, hey, I joined such and such class, could you send the link here? I'll do that, absolutely, that's even easier. But when I don't have a, an ongoing message, private message, through my business page with you, I have to go through your email address. So you can look there in case you're looking, you know, missing your link. And I try as quickly as possible. Yes, I did, Marlene. I try as quickly as possible to get your uh, link to you so you can go on and join. There's our aunt that we finished. He needs touch up paint on his little body in the middle. I thought he had exploded, I thought his bottom had, had exploded on me. If you missed that, you want to go back and see it. Uh, Char Forever. It's available to you indefinitely. You can still 
if you signed up for the November class, it's still there. All the videos, all the, with the January lettering class, it's the biggest class and there are links. There are um, uh, tips and tricks. There's a lot in that class. There's uh, links to workbooks that you, um, and free download uh, practice sheets, along with quite a few of my instructional videos. I did several that month because if I was painting anything that month that had lettering on it, I would just turn the camera on and um, start lettering and we talked through that one project. We did the whole alphabet one in one of the videos. So you, you have access forever, as long as Facebook allows it. And you know, so um, anything else y'all got? These are great questions. I, I don't usually do a Q and A at the end and I love this. This gives me a chance to, to talk to y'all. Yeah, like Opa said, if you wanna join our tater bug and sweet tater bugs, please just answer both questions so our moderators can get you in there. It's fun, Char. Let me tell y'all about the lettering. Um, I noticed, well, I taught myself kind of out of necessity. Um, so I have kind of, um, through trial and error, found the things that worked for me. And what I was realizing as I was teaching that month was that so many thought it was your handwriting and you're actually handwriting with a paint pen or with a, a paintbrush and um, uh, paint, but it's not. You're literally painting letters. If you can switch that mindset of, I don't have good handwriting, or you think you're supposed to just continually paint, it won't work that way. It's a process. It's um, painting letters. I work and work on any one letter and it's a lot of practice. It's muscle memory in your hand. I can go back and forth from my own handwriting to the way I letter now um, just by shifting my brain and how I make the letters. It's just a whole, it, it, it's a whole, and I tell you all that in class. I tell you all of that. And it's just, it is practice. It's muscle memory. Great, Rose. I'm glad I could help some. Uh, Tony, you want to start with animals? Okay, the okay, the paint classes. I've got a cow. I've got a fun cow. Less talk and more crafting. I've already crafted. I'm answering their questions now. <laughs> Y'all remember that comment I got? Get on with it. <laughs> Please put your logo on your cart. Oh, Becky, that's a great idea. I will do that. Oh, well, I'm gonna print it on. Did y'all see my video about printing on tissue paper so then you can use it like a decoupage, you know, decoupage with them? I'm gonna do that. There's a whole mindset, yes. Great idea. You know, I don't call it calligraphy, Tony. I really don't. Um, and it's faux calligraphy in a way. It's all about the downstrokes and the upstrokes. You are fattening up your downstrokes, you're thinning out your upstrokes. The calligraphy, calligraphy that I remember from like the 70s, you know, you need a special pen with a special nib on it. My dad was great at it. It looks nothing like that. You can take, honestly, you can take any font that you find and mimic it. It's just a matter of looking at the letters differently, not taking it as a whole word necessarily, but breaking it down, just like I do in the paintings. I break it down into simple steps, you know, simple shapes. If you, you have no, you would never say, I can't draw an apostrophe or I don't know how to draw a comma, but it's really just breaking it down into those little bitty steps. <laughs> Heidi, I'm gonna tell him you said that, I love that. <laughs> Come back dinner. He's just picking on me now. Uh, Tracy, yes, my dad did sign painting for a while too, and he did calligraphy and all of that. And it's just, it's very different from that. And if you, I, what I need to do is show y'all some of my lettering from like 
five years ago or four years ago whenever I started it as opposed to now and you see such a drastic difference um, in, in how they look because it, it's a lot of practice and you just you really get in a mindset. I never could do calligraphy like that Kim. I couldn't. I'm glad I can Becky because I love that crackle finish and I am gonna print that on tissue paper for sure. Thank you, Char. I love to letter. Like I always tell y'all, that's one of um, one of the most relaxing things I do is lettering. I just love it. It wasn't at first, but if you can relax into it, it'll look better too. So, I yeah, everybody's dropping off like flies, but that's okay. I want to stay around and uh, chat with y'all if you've got any other questions about classes or any of our products or anything. This is a good chance to do it. Pick out lettering online and this machine cuts it out. Um, Kim, you know, um, back when I started that, well, it, it, I don't know if she's here or not. I, don't, I didn't see her here, but Elizabeth Bauer, my sweet friend, we grew up together, went to school together. Um, <clears throat> she's one of our sweet tater bugs. She wanted a sign. Please do, Kim, do that. Uh, she wanted a sign for her daughter's wedding reception, and she wanted me to letter it, and I had never done lettering before, and I told her no, I couldn't do it. And she said, oh, yeah, you can. You know, I, I have faith in you. I said, no, I've never done that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. She would not take no for an answer. And um, so I had to learn. I was forced to learn, and I'm so glad I did. I'll be forever grateful to her for pushing me outside of that comfort zone to do the lettering. Um, because I told her, I said, get somebody that has a Cricut. Um, I watch crafters all the time and I love it. You just go to a machine, boop, boop, boop. apparently I don't know how I would do it. I'm not a stencil person. Um, that messes with my head somehow. I'm not good with stencils. Dad was great with stencils. That's what he did. But, um, I knew if I got a Cricut, I'd have, I'd have a learning curve right there and how to set it up, it, which would have probably maybe been easier. But in the long run, now I can just letter anything I want to. And I always tell, you know, when I was taking custom orders, I would tell people, no, this isn't going to look like it's cut from uh, vinyl and put on there. It's going to be handmade it'll have imperfections you know so if you don't like my style um, go with somebody who does that because a lot of people do I heard a lot of that too Tanya that uh, a lot of people that had inv invested in a Cricut weren't using it but I don't know now I just prefer it I just prefer to do it is it Tracy uh, I was afraid of that um, icon art what is that i want to know about that is that like a vinyl cutting and you use it you do use a cricket now tony they're beautiful i mean it's gorgeous i i have nothing against a cricket i just it's a personal preference that i just like to do it myself most of the time and it, it does come in handy for like like on the patriotic event that we did friday I was able to actually hand letter it live for y'all. I guess I could have had it all, I could have already had it cut out on a Cricut and then just applied it. But I, anyway, I just did that. Do you, Kim? I, I kind of embrace the imperfect of handmade and I love that. So it, yeah, that's kind of me too. Are they really, Judy? I've never even looked into it. Yeah, thank you. I'm, yeah, a lot of y'all seem to feel the same way about it. Oh, you don't have internet where you live. Okay. That reminds me. I'm wondering if we'll have it, have, what our internet will be like when we go over to Hot Springs. I hope I, I hope I have internet so I can uh, post. Well, true, Betty. You know, if all you've got to do, I, what I did in our January class was I tried out several things. I bought, I bought a workbook, 
Opa found a workbook too, and she was kind enough to share the link to that that she really loved. We found um, free printable worksheets, practice sheets. Um, I tried out different brushes to tell you what I thought of them so you would have a choice at um, if you wanted to use um, brush tip pens or a paintbrush and acrylic. Just try out a lot of different things so that y'all would know what I felt like worked and what didn't. Um, gotta get. Okay, I gotta get to. I better get. It's 5.15. Thank y'all for spending time with me. One more live uh, in here on Tuesday. And I, it'll be a quicker one, but I think it'll be fun. I've already made one and I had a good time with it. So if you can, come back Tuesday at 4. I'll be right here. Wait, let's see what Sandy said. She just got here. Please watch the replay, Sandy. There's a hoot. I'm telling you, something. It's something else. Okay, love you all. Have a great evening. See you Tuesday. Bye.